Welcome back to KRDO News Channel 13 at noon. Happy to have you joining us. Keep in mind that it is still breezy to windy for some neighborhoods across southern Colorado. And you can definitely tell the wind moving around our camera lens here as we look over the sangres. It's from our Spanish Speaks Veterans Community Living Center neighborhood weather network camera. Blue skies as we get you outdoors this afternoon. It is chilly. We've got 33 degrees from our underwater connection neighborhood weather network camera. We are staying dry. This is a check of live HD Doppler radar. No ongoing storms out there. It's just a clean sweep everywhere. We'll have mostly clear skies late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. High temperatures will fluctuate in the 30s and 40s. Into 6 o'clock, we drop to the 20s and 30s before dipping to the teens and 20s altogether through 10 p.m. I want to show you just how dry it's going to be throughout the rest of the day today. Pausing the clock at 4, uh, just an absence of storms. Staying rather quiet as we go throughout the rest of tonight. Overnight temperatures dropping to the teens and single digits. Keep in mind that as we go throughout the rest of the day today and into the overnight hours, wind speeds will start to die down as an upper level system continues to move off toward the east. So it's the same system that was impacting us yesterday and it's still causing us a couple of issues. Wind speeds, though, aren't quite as strong as what we saw yesterday. 15 overnight tonight for Colorado Springs and Canyon City. La at 15 as well. 13 below for Gunnison. 9 below zero in Alamosa. High temperatures tomorrow warmer in the 40s and 50s for the lower terrain. For Pueblo and Fremont counties, we'll have the 40s and 50s. Upper 30s toward West Cliff. Into Divide, we'll have the upper 30s. 40s toward Falcon, Peyton, and Cowhan. 7 day forecast shows that we're going to be warming up all the way into the middle of the work week. We'll have breezy conditions from time to time over the next couple of days with partly to mostly sunny skies. Uh, early uh, um, on Saturday morning, we do have just a 10% chance of seeing just a bit of rain and snow. Nothing overly impressive, though. If we do see those showers, it will only produce very minor snow accumulation. New Year's Day looking all right at this point in time with a high temperature of 43 degrees. We really pulled back our temperatures on Monday, and again, we added a slight chance for rain and snow. Pueblo, low to mid 50s the next few days, fluctuating 40s and 50s through Friday. We're staying dry in the Steel City all the way through next Monday, but keep in mind that the extended forecast is still very fluid, and we still have several days for things to change. We'll keep you posted on the latest developments, of course. Low 50s tomorrow and Wednesday in Canyon City, blustery here and there. We'll stay dry in Canyon City all the way through the holiday weekend. So, for those of you making plans in Canyon City, for the time being, things are looking decent. However, it's a different story in Teller County where we do have a 10% chance for unsettled weather on both Saturday and Monday. Beyond that, though, hey, we're staying dry. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s most days. We'll have a last look at weather for you coming up next. It is nice to get a break from the wind, though. Even though it still is windy, at least it'll die down. Right, and not quite as strong as the 80 mile per hour winds that we saw yesterday. Yesterday was crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Abby. Mm -hmm. Time now to check in with our news partners at KRDO News Radio.